saying. <laughs> not, that's not. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, you're fine. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Attempting to pull a prank on a figure as formidable as Mike Tyson, known for his fierce reputation both inside and outside the boxing ring, is not a task for the faint-hearted. Yet, his 16-year-old daughter, Milan Tyson, an aspiring tennis star, took up the challenge with nothing but a smartphone, a viral trend, and her father's sense of humor to back her. The prank in question was the viral Just Give Me My Money Challenge, which has swept across platforms like TikTok and Instagram. The concept is simple. Participants form a circle, chanting, Just Give Me My Money, while clapping rhythmically. The twist occurs when everyone abruptly stops clapping as it becomes the victim's turn, leaving them in an awkward silence. For Milan, the target was her father, Mike Tyson. In a clip posted on her Instagram story, Tyson is seen participating in what appears to be a benign game. He claps along unsuspectingly, only to find himself shouting the phrase into a sudden void as his family members, previously clapping along, halt and leave him isolated in the silence. The tension in the room must have been palpable, as the once dominant boxing champion found himself the center of a playful, yet potentially embarrassing prank. Despite the potential for humiliation, Tyson, a man known for his intimidating presence in the ring, took the joke in stride, demonstrating a grace that might surprise those only familiar with his more fearsome persona. Feeling some guilt for the prank, Milan later took to social media to extend an apology to her father. She posted a heartfelt message on Instagram, Mike Tyson, I am sorry, but I love you. This this tender apology probably helped to mend any residual discomfort from the prank, highlighting the strong bond between father and daughter. Mike Tyson, once the most feared man in boxing, showcases a remarkably different side in his relationship with his daughter, Milan Tyson. Distinguished in her own right, Milan is carving a path in junior tennis rather than following in the pugilistic footsteps of her father. This dynamic illustrates Tyson's softer, nurturing aspect, which sharply contrasts with his tumultuous past. Through Milan, Tyson finds a redemptive narrative, supporting her athletic endeavors and demonstrating the profound impact of a father's influence in shaping not only a career, but also personal growth in the harsh spotlight that once consumed him. In just three weeks, boxing fans are in for a real treat, as Mike Tyson squares off against Jake Paul in what's shaping up to be a barn burner at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. As the big day draws near, Tyson's been teasing us with clips from his training sessions, although there's been some buzz about his recent health scares. This fight is stacking up to be a real clash of titans, with both guys known for their hard-hitting style. But Gene Kilroy, a key figure in Muhammad Ali's career and one of his closest confidants, now sees echoes of Ali's tenacity in Mike Tyson. In the seventh episode of Behind the Mike, Kilroy couldn't hide his astonishment at Tyson's condition, remarking, This is the strongest I've ever seen you. I know you since you're 13. I think this is so impressive. This impressed the sh out of me. Nothing impresses me. Highlighting Tyson's exceptional form despite his age. Mike Tyson put fear in everybody he fought. They were scared to death. They, Butch Lewis asked me to come into when he was fighting Michael Spinks in Atlantic City. Come in and say hello to Michael, wish him luck. I went in there, Michael was sh sitting there. Mike was punching holes in the wall next door in the dressing room. I looked at his opponent, his knees were shaking. I told Butch Lewis, get some knee pads for him. He came out with knee pads on. He was scared to death. At the age of 58, there have been understandable concerns about Tyson's fitness for the fight. Kilroy himself was initially skeptical due to Tyson's extensive travel schedule. However, after observing Tyson's rigorous training regime, Kilroy's worries have been alleviated, stating, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't lie. I was worried about, I'm traveling here, traveling there. I can sleep now at night. This is great. For his part, Tyson dismisses any concerns related to his age, confidently declaring, I don't know what the word old is. I don't feel that. Even as he approaches his 60s, Tyson continues to engage in a demanding routine of sparring, running, and boxing drills, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to the sport and his physical capabilities. What a catch! A nice left hook! Up, up. What's good for today? Yeah. I truly yeah. sure? Yeah, me too. Yes. Sure? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. 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 Let's do this. You did great. We're done. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got a lot in me. First off, this matchup was originally set for July 20th, but had to be shelved when Tyson faced a sudden health hiccup with a flare-up of his ulcers. At 58, the legend had to pause his training, sparking worries about whether he should be stepping back in the ring at all. But Tyson's back in action now, and his training clips are getting folks talking all over again, stirring concerns and excitement alike about his comeback. The atmosphere is charged with intensity as Mike Tyson and Jake Paul prepare to face off. Tyson isn't pulling any punches with his remarks, making it clear he doesn't see Paul as just a social media boxer, but as a genuine threat that he intends to dismantle in the ring. Tyson views this fight not only as a competition, but as a chance to reaffirm his dominance in boxing, a sport where he was once the apex predator. This comeback is more than just a match for Tyson. It's a public demonstration of his enduring prowess and ferocity. I love the biggest challenges in the world. That's what's made my whole entire career is taking big risks, and I, I want the toughest guy out there. I want the biggest fights, and making history is what I've done my whole entire career, and this is no different. Netflix, Mike Tyson, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Jake Paul, undeterred by Tyson's formidable reputation, has been equally vocal, dismissing the legendary boxer's past glories as mere history. For Paul, defeating Tyson isn't just about a win. It's about cementing his place in the sport, transitioning from a YouTube personality to a recognized boxer among the greats. His bold defiance has polarized spectators, thrilling some and stunning others with his readiness to challenge such a storied figure. I will prove them wrong once again. I think you're suicidal. I think you're suicidal, that's what I think. This fight transcends the usual boundaries of professional boxing, morphing into a deeply personal vendetta for both fighters. Tyson aims to defend his legacy, while Paul seeks to usher in a new chapter of his career on the back of a victory over Tyson. The tension has escalated to a palpable level, making this bout as much about proving their mettle as about securing a win. Amidst this showdown, voices like Stefan Kestings have expressed skepticism, questioning the authenticity of the fight and suggesting it might be more spectacle than sport. These critiques have intensified the scrutiny of the bout, with fans and critics alike wondering if this will be a genuine contest or merely a lucrative exhibition. What do I think about the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight? Here's my prediction. I don't think anybody's getting knocked out. I don't think that Mike Tyson's knocking Jake Paul out. I don't think Jake Paul is knocking Mike Tyson out. They probably almost certainly have a gentleman's agreement to not go too hard. And uh, there's no way that Jake Paul can win. If Jake Paul knocks out Mike Tyson, he loses. He doesn't knock out Mike Tyson, he loses. But he gets a payday. And there's really no way that Tyson can win. I mean, there's a reason that all the training clips you see of him are about three seconds long and probably speed it up. Because there are no 15 second long clips. There are no 30 second long clips. I'm willing to eat my words. I'm willing to change my mind if they release you know, a three minute round of him training hard. I will change but I don't think we're going to see it. I have seen too many older athletes on the tail end of their combat career just going in for one more payday. On the flip side, Jake Paul has been carving out his own legacy in the ring. At 27, with a professional record boasting only one loss out of 10 fights, Paul's fast rise has been turning heads, some in approval, others in disbelief. Now he's gearing up to face Tyson, which could be the biggest test of his boxing career yet. Paul's confidence is sky high. He's not shy about his ambitions for this fight, sparking debates on whether he's underestimating the veteran's prowess. How you have to go into this fight? I, what do I know, you know, but uh, I, I just know Jake, man, and like... <clears throat> I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh, I'm gonna be splendid. Yeah. Thank God. I appreciate you worrying. Yeah, it's me. gonna be it's gonna be a good night, man. Uh, <laughs> I care. I care. Uh, but you're also not the only person, dude. Like, <clears throat> there's a lot of athletes, a lot of people out there who are like, you know, I saw KD last night, and he was talking about I don't want to talk about that fight because if something happens to Uncle Mike, it's not gonna be fun, dude. People are gonna be angry. Be like angry. it's almost it's almost like a weird duality for Jake, where if he if he loses, it's probably. As the boxing world gears up for the much-anticipated clash between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, the fight has sparked a plethora of reactions from notable personalities, highlighting the controversial nature of this match. Tell me because I'm nervous, I'm afraid because I've been nervous my whole career and I've been very successful. Mike, I'm gonna be honest with you. I love you, Mike. Same. And I'm very nervous for you. Thank you for caring. I do care. I care about you, and I care about my brother. And I know the path he's on right now. And it's ruthless, Mike. I agree. It's pretty cool. It's cool. It's so cool to watch. And he's 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 really crushing it. And and I just feel like I want you to be okay in there, Mike. 
And I want you, you got to take him serious, Mike, because he's. I take he, him extremely serious. I take him extremely serious. These people don't take him serious. No, they don't. And that's, it's such a mistake because he's a, he's a, he's a real killer, Mike. Like he wanted to be a Navy SEAL before he started boxing like in high school. He, he wants to be a Navy SEAL. He wanted to go kill people. On yep. Oscar De La Hoya shared his thoughts on Jake Paul's boxing career and his publicized ambitions of becoming a world champion. De La Hoya, a boxing legend himself, expressed a mix of skepticism and encouragement towards Paul's current trajectory in the sport. He urged Paul to match his actions with his lofty ambitions, pointing out the incongruity of seeking a championship through high-profile yet non-traditional matchups. Oscar said, I feel Jake Paul, you say you want to be a world champion. You say you want to take this sport serious, then take it serious. What is this? This is not a popularity contest. Contest. I'm actually praising Jake Paul here to take this serious because I really truly feel if he fights the right fights and takes the right path to that world title, he can actually get there. De La Hoya was clear in highlighting the need for strategic and thoughtful career choices if Paul is genuinely committed to making a mark in professional boxing. However, he expressed doubts about Paul's route to the championship, specifically criticizing the decision to fight an aging Mike Tyson as a means to gain credibility. Oscar continued, I'm not sure because it's up to him if he can win it, but he can get there, but he's not going to get there through Mike Tyson. While acknowledging the likely financial success of the Tyson versus Paul fight, De La Hoya pointed out the potential risks for Tyson given his age, alongside the broader implications for the sport of boxing. He called for a more genuine approach from Paul if he is to be taken seriously in the boxing community, emphasizing the importance of legitimate competition over mere spectacle. We have to keep it into perspective here. Um, this is entertainment, I guess. This is a fight that... Uh, is going to do great business all over the world. Uh, more power to them, but last time I heard Jake Paul was very serious about this sport. Uh, all I'm saying is, yeah, make your money, but also take this sport serious. It's not going to be dangerous for Tyson. It, it will not be dangerous for Tyson because, I mean, Tyson's been up in the ring with, you know, monsters. He has a chin. And I'm still, I'm sure he can go six rounds, seven rounds, eight rounds. You know. Logan Paul, on his impulsive podcast, has openly voiced his concerns about his brother stepping into the ring with Tyson, known for his devastating power. Logan supports Jake, but is acutely aware of the physical risks involved when facing a seasoned powerhouse like Tyson. His apprehension underscores the gravity of the challenge Jake is about to confront. Is it, is it hard for you when someone sits and says you should be fearful of, of, any man on this planet, let alone, you know, Jake Paul. Hey, I'm, I'm fearful. I'm fearful of my 13 year old son. And this is what I learned through my 58 years of experience. What my experience is that anyone's capable of killing you. In my life and the way I live my life and what I've seen, anyone's capable of killing you. So you should be apprehensive for anyone. That's just my life, life that I live. Everyone around me, anybody I know is capable of killing you. Even if I don't know you, that's how I look at people. They're all capable of killing you. Mm. So I look at them at that and I, I, my objective's like this, so they're capable of killing Adding to the mix of opinions, Logan Paul subjected himself to a lie detector test, revealing even he doesn't believe Jake can triumph over Tyson. This admission resonates with the broader community sentiment, many of whom share his doubts about Jake's chances against such a formidable opponent. Bro, you just f***ed my life up. It's okay. Do you believe that I will actually beat Mike Tyson? Yes. What the f <laughs> Do you believe you'll actually beat Mike Tyson? Yeah. All right, let's talk about the Tyson fight. Do you think the age difference plays a big role in the outcome of the fight? No, I think Mike is a killer at any age. Hmm. You sweat a little bit. It, yeah, I don't like this. For all the conspiracy theorists out there, is this fight rigged? Absolutely not. That's a federal crime. Eddie Hearn, a big name in the boxing promotion world, recently opened up about his conflicted emotions regarding Mike Tyson's next fight. Although he sees the huge potential for the match to be a blockbuster entertainment event, Hearn can't help but feel a tinge of sadness. For him, Tyson isn't just any boxer, he's a childhood hero, and watching him step into the ring for what many see as just a spectacle brings a bit of a heavy heart. Eddie explained his feelings candidly, saying, I'm a hardcore boxing fan, he's one of my heroes. I find it very sad, but it's a big event. I understand people are going 
going to watch it and its entertainment, I guess. But for someone that idolized the guy growing up, not the best day. This fight, while exciting for many, touches a nostalgic nerve for Hearn and many others. Further skepticism comes from KSI, another influencer turned boxer, who has been critical of the fight's premise, calling it a lose-lose scenario. He points out the stark disparities in age and boxing experience between the two, questioning the validity of the matchup. KSI argues that a victory for Jake would only tarnish his record as defeating an older, albeit legendary, boxer, while a win for Tyson would merely reiterate his expected dominance due to his extensive experience. This debate poses the question of whether the fight is a genuine athletic contest or merely a high-profile spectacle designed for entertainment. I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul. <laughs> My Tyson is 57 years old. Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Everyone's gonna know him as the guy. That knocked out an old it, Mike Tyson. At his age, if you get hit by one solid prune, Jake Paul prune, punch, prune juice. you're prune juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mike Tyson. Anything can happen. Jake could literally walk out without an ear. Like, bro, <laughs> the funny thing is, Amanda Holyfield followed me. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I said, nah. Not enough ears? No, I'm not. <laughs> Amid these debates, Joe Rogan has chimed in, commending Tyson's training regimen. Rogan notes that Tyson, despite his age, retains remarkable speed and power, elements that made him a fearsome competitor in his prime. Rogan's comments highlight Tyson's physical preparedness and the intimidating presence he will bring to the fight. We talk to too. People are, cr there's so certain people that are just crazy, man. Well, speaking of Mike Tyson, this, these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, but they're like this shouldn't even like he because he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Well, they're I, definitely uninformed. Yeah. Because the, the, here's the thing: he is 57 years old. He he will be 58 when they fight. He he has had a long fighting career. Yeah, he's 57, but he got access to everything. Everything. And he's also doing this very unique uh, kind of training with electrical muscular stimulation that I've talked to some people that um, do that. And it, it's, uh, it has massive benefits of rehabilitating injuries. Rogan also recognizes the dual challenge the bout presents, acknowledging Jake Paul's serious approach to his boxing career, evident from his previous fights against seasoned athletes and former champions. This acknowledgement from Rogan lends some credibility to the match, suggesting that Jake's commitment to boxing is genuine despite the criticisms. How that you knew from the time he was like 16 years old on YouTube and you just saw him box and you saw him knock out former UFC champions, you saw him beat legitimate boxers or beat athletes and beat a bunch of MMA fighters. You'd go, this kid can fucking fight. He knows how to fight. Like it's not, it's not, nothing he's doing looks wrong. He's not like sticking his head straight up in the air and winging punches with his eyes closed. He's fighting well. He looks good, and if he was just an up-and-coming boxer, that was this ex The contrasting views from figures like Logan Paul, KSI, and Joe Rogan encapsulate the wide array of perspectives on this fight, blending concerns with acknowledgments of both fighters' capabilities and intents. As the fight draws closer, the boxing community remains divided. Some see it as a mere spectacle, while others anticipate a genuinely compelling showdown that tests the mettle of both an emerging boxer and a returning legend. The outcome of this bout will not only determine the victor, but also help define the future trajectories of both fighters' careers in the eyes of the public and the annals of boxing history. Stop spreading misinformation about the rules for this fight with Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Now, I understand there's videos that are satire, it's funny, I get it, but there's people that grab that information, make their own videos as if it's true information. No, Jake Paul will not be wearing headgear fighting Mike Tyson, and no, he's not gonna be able to tap in his brother Logan Paul throughout the fight. And three, now this is on the edge because they're waiting on the Texas Commission to see if they're able to make it up. Jake Paul is going to lose this fight even if he wins. And this fight might somehow be the worst decision of his career. Now, there's a lot of people that already think Jake Paul fixes his fights. Even Rampage Jackson says he doesn't think the knockouts look legit. Fans also claim it. Patty Pimblett, I don't know who the hell that is, but they said it as well. Basically, everyone's sentiment is if Jake Paul wins, he fixed the fight. Now, Jake has already been criticized a lot because he fights people who are UFC fighters instead of boxers. He brings people out of retirement. 
And honestly, just personally, when I watch the... Uh, As fight night approaches, opinions are split. There's a whole camp eagerly waiting to see Tyson, a true boxing legend, back doing what he does best. Yet others are on edge, knowing the inherent risks of boxing, especially with the physical demands it places on someone like Tyson at his age. The upcoming Tyson vs. Paul fight is not just any boxing match. It's going to be streamed on Netflix, which has a massive global reach with over 260 million subscribers. Imagine that. This isn't your typical pay-per-view event, so the potential audience is enormous, way more than the traditional boxing broadcasts. Just to give you an idea, the famous Mayweather vs. Pacquiao fight in 2015 had 4.6 million PPV buys, and this one could blow those figures out of the water. With all the buzz around how huge this event is shaping up to be, Mike Tyson himself dropped a rather bold prediction about how the fight will go down once he lands a solid punch on Jake Paul. Tyson, always one to stir the pot, remarked with a bit of a chuckle about his opponent opponent's strategy. As soon as I catch this guy, he's going to be running around. But as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally over. He is going to run like a thief. It's clear Tyson is ready to turn this into quite the spectacle. This showdown isn't just a fight. It's a generational clash that's been hit with delays, but has only grown in anticipation. Safety concerns are paramount, as Tyson will undergo thorough checks before stepping into the ring. It's a pivotal moment in boxing that pits an iconic sports figure against a modern-day media sensation in Paul. So, who's your money on? Whether you're rooting for Iron Mike or YouTube's very own Jake, this is one you won't want to miss. And if you're feeling lucky, why not check out some of the betting promos on offer? Mark your calendars for November 15th. This is going to be one for the history books. If you liked the video, do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can stay connected together.